So let us take a moment to center our hearts, our minds, and our souls on Almighty God, whom we worship. Our order of worship for Palm Sunday begins on the lectionary insert on the first page. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, heaven and glory, and glory in, in the highest. highest. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Gospel of Mark. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Just say this. The Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying that colt? They told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who were followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. And now we'll sing our traditional Palm Sunday hymn. <clears throat>
No, but you have to mute yourself this thing. <laughs> Our worship continues on page two of the Palm Sunday leaflet. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to, to give him thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was proclaimed as king of kings by those who spread their garments and branches of palm along his way. Let these branches be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life who lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. 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 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. In the highest. Now we turn to the morning prayer Lent leaflet. We will not do the Ten Commandments this morning. We begin with the confession of sins. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most yes. merciful God, we confess, we confess that we have that sinned we have against, sinned against, against you, you in thought, in word, word, and deed, deed, by what by we have done, 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 and by what by we have done. 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 We have, we have not have loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, have we have not loved our neighbors, our neighbors as ourselves. We, we are truly sorry and we, we, we humbly repent. For the sake of our Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 Lord, open our lips. And, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. O God, you are my God. Eagerly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you. As in a barren and dry land, there is no water. Therefore, I have I made gaze upon you in your holy place, holy place that I might be able to power and glory. glory. For your love and kindness is better than life and success. My lips shall, shall give you praise. you praise. So I will oh, bless you as long as I live, live and lift, and lift up my hands in your name. Your name. My soul, my soul is content as, as with marrow and madness, and my and mouth, mouth praises, praises you with joy to my lips when I remember, remember you upon my back and, and meditate on you and you watch the night watches. For you have been my help and, and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Now we go back to the Palm Sunday leaflet, and on the back page, we will read together the portion of Psalm 31 that is there. Okay. Have mercy on me, Lord, 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 for I am I in trouble. trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat, my belly. 
For my life is wasted to the grave, and my years are dying. My strength has been because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have been covered in the pictures of all my enemies, and even to my neighbors, a dismay of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten, I am dead man, dead man. I, am dead man. I am as useless as, 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 as a broken pot. For I have heard the whisperings of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. They ask for this for me. I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said that you are my God. My time is in your hand. Rest is in the hand of my enemies. And from those who persecute me. Make your reputation shine upon your servant. And in your name and loving kindness, save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Mike is our reader this morning, and he will read the first reading from the inside of that Palm Sunday leaflet. Our first reading this morning is from Isaiah chapter 50, verses 4 through 9a. The Lord has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks, thanks be to God. God. And now let us read together the first canticle from our lectionary insert. O Lord and Lord ruler, and ruler of the of hosts of heaven, 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 God of Abraham, God of Abraham and, and, Jacob, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring. May the heavens and the earth and all their vast domain. All things in the spiritual presence, they tremble because of your power. But your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all the minds of the O Lord, you are beautiful and ashes among suffering and abounding in mercy. You do you hold back your hand, you do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised us forgiveness to sinners, that they may be forgiven of their sins and saved. And now, O Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my pleasure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness is only too well. Therefore, yeah, therefore, I make I this prayer, prayer to, you. to you. Forgive, forgive me, Lord, 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 forgive me. Lord, me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn, or condemn me to the depths of the earth. earth. For you, you Lord, 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 are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth the goodness. 
Unworthy as I am, you will save me. In accordance with your great mercy, and I will give you praise without ceasing all the days of your life. For all the powers of heaven will sing your praise and praise. And yours is the glory to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The second reading is on the back of your Palm Sunday insert, and Mike will read that also. Our second reading this morning is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Our response is the second canticle from our worship leaflet. Blessed be the Lord, Lord. God of Israel. He has, he has come, come to his people, people and will set them free. Set them free. He, has he has raised up to us a mighty Savior, born, born of the born house of the of David, David, through his holy prophets, and his holy prophets, that he would save us from our enemies, enemies from the hands, the hands of all haters. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember the holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall tell the God of the promise of the most high. You will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, and now, and forever. Amen. Amen. And now we will read the Passion Gospel. Remember that the parts of the crowd are for everybody. If you have a copy with a part highlighted, please <clears throat> unmute yourself now so that we will hear you. Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. Two priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. For they said, Not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. While Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured, it, poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, Why was the ointment wasted in that way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii, and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her, but Jesus let her alone. 
Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me, for you always have the poor with you and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Mm -hmm. Truly, I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray Jesus to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So Judas began to look for an opportunity to betray Jesus. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. And wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as Jesus had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus came with the twelve, and when they, when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him one after another, Surely not I. Jesus said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the bowl with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread. And after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But Peter said vehemently, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to the three disciples, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, Jesus threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you, all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Jesus came and found the disciples sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak. And again, Jesus went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found the disciples sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. Jesus came a third time and said to them, 
Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given the crowd a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when Judas, Judas came, he went up to Jesus at once and said, Rabbi. Kissed him. Then the crowd laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. But one of them who stood near, who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of Jesus' followers deserted him and fled. A certain young man was following Jesus, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. The crowd caught hold of him, but he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. They took Jesus to the high priest, and all the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes were assembled. Peter followed Jesus at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he was sitting with the guards, warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the holy council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many great gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against Jesus, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple, that it is made with hands, and in three days I will build another, not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you an answer? What is it that testify against you? But Jesus was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? The whole council condemned Jesus as deserving death. Some began to spit on him, to blindfold him, and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy. The guards also took Jesus over and beat him. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When he saw Peter, Peter warming himself, she stared at him and said, You were with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. But Peter denied it, saying, I do not know or understand what you are talking about. And Peter went out into the forecourt. Then the cock crowed, and the servant girl, on seeing him, began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. But again Peter denied it. Then after a little while the bystanders again sent to Peter, Certainly you are one you of them, for you are a Galilean. For you are Galilean. But Peter began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know this man you are talking about. At the moment, at the moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And Peter broke down and wept. This is the gospel of our Lord. Let us take a moment for silent meditation in response to what we have heard.
Amen. 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 Let us affirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. He will come will again come to again judge, judge the living and, and the dead. dead. I believe in the I Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, saints the forgiveness of sins, sins, the resurrection of the body, body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And I'll so with you. Let us pray in the words our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, our Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will thy be, done, be done, on earth on as earth it is in heaven. Is heaven. heaven. Give us give this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead and us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the mind is the kingdom, power, power, and glory, glory, glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver, Deliver us, us and forgive, and forgive us, us our, sins. our sins. Look upon your congregation wherever we may be. Give to your people, people the blessing of peace. peace. Declare your glory among the nations. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. Almighty and ever living God, God yeah, in yeah, your yeah. tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Merciful, Merciful and that we may and walk in the way of his suffering, suffering. and also share in his resurrection. in his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord, Christ, our Lord. Who, lives who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. one God, forever God. and ever. Amen. 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 Lord God, almighty and ever-living Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Prayers of the people. Though willing in spirit, we are still weak in the flesh. So let us appeal to God's mercy in prayer, saying, Help us, O Lord, and responding, Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. O Lord, let the same mind be in your church that was in Christ Jesus. 
with bended knees and confessing tongues, make us able to live his way of humility and obedience. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Prince, our bishop, Carol, our priest. Help us, O Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, in your tender love, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus, to take upon himself our human nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Give us hearts to love every human being. Help us, O Lord. O God, bless the trees. In celebration of your Son, we waved their branches. In our sinful violence, we took what you made good and crafted a wooden cross. O oh God, bless the trees. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, mercy. God of all the nations, we pray for Christians who do not have the freedom to worship openly, for political prisoners, refugees, and for all those who protect our freedoms for their service to our country. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Merciful God, look upon our beautiful towns. Forgive us for our violent ways. Even in hard times, let us not become a reproach to our neighbors. Make your face to shine upon all the places where we live. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. O oh Lord, we pray for those who are wasted by grief, whose years are filled with sighing. We pray for those whose strength has failed and whose bones are consumed. In your loving kindness, save them. We pray especially for Art, Don, Sherry, Mary Lou, Rachel, and anyone else you wish to mention at this time. Jim Young and her family. German Lee Ill and their families. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, 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 have Lord, mercy. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, you took human form. You died on the cross. You shared with us life and death. We trust the dead, your care. We trust our lives to you. Help us, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Amen. Almighty God, God, you have given us have grace, given us grace this time, time with one of one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised that you are well beloved us, that when two of you are gathered together in this community, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, now Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this, in this world knowledge of your, of your truth, truth and in the age, age to come, come and the life of the Amen. Amen. I will say the blessing and then we will sing the second hymn followed by the remainder, the reading of the remainder of the Passion Gospel. And then the service ends without a benediction in silence. So right. when you are ready after we are done, just click leave. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
The Gospel of our Lord. Heather, you're muted. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused Jesus of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival, Pilate used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then Pilate answered them, do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? The crowd shouted back. Crucify him. him. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more. Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led Jesus into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed Jesus, Jesus in a purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns, <coughs> they put it on him. And they began saluting him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. The soldiers compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry Jesus' cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then the soldiers brought Jesus to the palace called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And the soldiers crucified Jesus and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified Jesus. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. And with Jesus, they crucified two bandits, one, as, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided Jesus, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who will destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking Jesus among themselves and saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with Jesus also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice. Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani. Which means... My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to Jesus to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now, when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way, Jesus breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man is God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Magdal Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, the younger, and of jo 
Joseph, and Salome. These used to follow Jesus and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with, with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. When Pilate wondered if Jesus were already dead and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus had been dead for some time. When Pilate learned from the centurion that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. Joseph then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph said where the body was laid, saw where the body was laid. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, 